Welcome to another adventure. Unfortunately, this time it's starting off not such a great adventure. I've wrecked the pink pig. So I'm headed out now with Utah Off-Road Recovery Team to go rescue it from the ditch that it's in. Uh, I guess I exceeded my driver's skill yesterday while out with a couple of friends and slid off the road into uh, a bad spot. So we left it there overnight. I didn't really get any video. Uh, I think I processed a bit of it. Uh, not that it really matters. It is just an object. Uh, the only thing that matters is what happens after the fact. So I slid into the ditch. Okay, now how do we refit? How do we repair this? How do I fix it? I only have liability insurance on the car, so all of it's going to be out of pocket. Uh, we are headed to the scene now to try and see if uh, me and four other vehicles are able to uh, rescue it from the ditch that it's in. So we've got three gladiators with us and a Ford Raptor. Uh, the Ford Raptor, I think, weighs the most. They should be fine. We're going to see how they handle the situation. Uh, very fortunate, very glad to have them and to have that service and the people that make that service available in Utah. So let's go do this. So we are at the point now where the car is in the ditch. We're about to roll up on it. Uh, here it is. And it's pretty far down in there. So I am gonna pull off and get this car out of the way as best I can. And we're gonna see what the team has to say about it. Let's see how feasible this is gonna to be to get it out. Uh, hopefully this is out of the way now for everyone. Uh, time to switch into uh, getting this out mode. Get underneath it and see what's... We were able to tip it up a little bit from there, you can kind of see it, but the front yeah. left wheel is just sideways in the wheel well. Okay. Yeah. So the whole steering is probably tucked under. Yeah. yeah. Also, hi, I'm Harrison. I'm John. John. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to have to remove the white front bar, and I think removing the tire carrier completely would be best. No. Yeah. Yeah, the front end is not, <laughs> not in a good spot. There's no. Here. There's no what? <laughs> Well, there's, there's no uh, left tire driver, so. Uh, yeah, it sucks out of the way, not to, not was to minimize. Was this last part slow motion? Yeah, it's just kind of. Just all blended together. I, I was fully aware of what was happening and there was nothing I could do about it. But when you were like here, it just kind of. Yeah, uh, I, I noticed it was happening a ways back and I applied the brakes, saw that they were not gonna bring me to a stop, so I tried uh, giving it some power, trying to, to go through yeah. the turn, swinging the rear out, end out, but that didn't work also. So back on the brakes and just steered into it. And uh, hope for the best. As it sits right now, the rear left quarter uh, isn't damaged. The back door doesn't seem like it's damaged. So if it's just the front, like I can repair that on my own. Yeah. But rear quarter, uh, that's above my pay grade, skill level. Can we, this looks like it's mounted in the receiver. Yeah, I'm gonna remove that, it's probably best. And the, the factory recovery point is on the back right too, uh, right above the exhaust. I'm trying to pull it. And that's this push bar is held on. This, this will kind of be just an accessory, and then we'll have uh, we'll go into your hitch receiver on the back, um, and then I think maybe we'll put a little we'll put the J hook on the rear suspension there. Okay. You want to take a look at that when we put that in and make sure you're good with that. If we can that. get it to here, then we can reevaluate because we're going to have to try and keep that left front off off the ground. Yeah. So we'll probably have to put another another loop down there to pull up from. Okay. I think we need to get it to here first. So the path. So kind of have a game plan going. Uh, we're gonna get like four, four winch lines at least on the car, trying to get it up to about this point and reevaluate from there. Uh, we're hoping we can just get it up this ledge here. Uh, the front left is basically missing from the vehicle. There's Oakley. 
And James, right? Yeah. James, Christian, and then Trevor has gone somewhere. Trevor's over there taking a pee, it seems. <laughs> and your name again was I'm, Brett, right? I'm Brett, yeah. Brett, thank yep. you so much. Yep. I appreciate you guys for doing this. Too late. <laughs> I'm Trevor. Harrison handed me a camera because he's obviously a little busy helping these guys. But basically, we're almost ready to pull out, and that truck is the owner of said ranch way out there in the distance. So we had to clear a path for him to come through. But right now, they're just pulling off rear tire rack and whatnot to make it a little easier to pull. See if we can get it out. Finally, get to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I, pack it around, I pack it around so I can get the mud off my window so I can see. Oh man. They won't just build a spot that you won't slide. Not terrible, but that looks like victory to me. This is victory. But I was cutting. We have to do it. Can I have half of it? I just like it. It is fast. Which way? The way we're doing it. Well, well he looked real versed in out. vehicle recovery. <laughs> he looked like he knew what he was talking about. It is I think this is. We just bring it right up out. I think so that's our safest way to yeah. start yeah. anyway. I was thinking is we could take it that way, but Me then too. I came and saw it and I'm like, no. Same. It would just mess up that whole driver's side, I think. Borrow your radio? Yeah, the rear quarter is above my pay grade. Yeah. Oakley did it the best way. It's a pretty gnarly ledge to go over. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, not good, not fun. I can't believe you didn't get hurt. <laughs> Fortunately, I slammed the front end and then the rear end just kind of fell in, so I didn't take the brunt force of it. That's what it is. Back up as far as you Just can, gotta get guys. it out and get it home I and fix it. For the next year, <laughs> or however long. Seeing it and not dying. Yeah, I feel like it. I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that rear door is smashed in a little bit. Oh, a reporter is too. Uh, Luke, he ended up going. His actually, brother had to be back by four or something. It actually looks like it's like the windshield's a little bent down at the bottom. Really? Oh, so, so the bad. pillar got it. Like you see what I'm saying? Down yeah. at the bottom, it, the reflection curves quite a bit. But. So it looks like the pillar probably. How did the airbags not go off? How like faster you going? Crazy. So like 20? Yeah, like 20 ish. You, they usually don't go off to like 25 or 30. I guess it also depends on. Huh? Say what? <laughs> you thought it went off at like 50 plus? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, my truck flew off a 60 foot cliff and tomahawked six times and the airbag didn't go off. <laughs> <laughs> were you because your car's like, you know what? I think it's dead. <laughs> like, wait, you were in. You want me to film portrait? Or. That's not my fault. Hi. Like Someone film portrait. portrait, yeah. We're moving pretty good, actually. I'll get tight close-ups landscape for you.
Yeah, my CV is still attached. What about pulling it out from the back now? The Raptor just takes it straight. I'm not against that. Hey, stop, stop. Oh. No, 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 don't, don't stop. It might be a good move, uh, the way things are angled up, that Mark just pulls it back up to him. Uh, uh, Mark, pull it to you a little bit and let's not see what sure. happens. I think Vernon helped a little bit. Backing it on might be the best option, I guess. That's working real nice. John, let's come out. Seems that way. Actually, no, I think that's just like so much pressure going to that tire. The wheel's straight, we're good to go. I can just drive it home. <laughs> oh. The quarter still looks good. Doors look pretty fine. I don't know if you've told the story on camera yet. What happened? So the Cayenne obviously was in the ditch overnight. Last night I was out with the Raptor and a Tacoma and I was lead. I went a little bit too fast around this turn. Uh, it was incredibly icy. Couldn't come to a stop, couldn't turn into it, couldn't do anything basically. Maybe it just exceeded my driver's skill, but I ended up in the ditch. Uh, we left it here overnight because we knew snow was still coming down. There wasn't a possibility of rescue. So we waited until today to get Utah Offroad Recovery Team uh, a part of this. And they have been able to pull it out this far. So we're going to rescue it, get it on a trailer, thanks to Oakley Miller, Oakley Miller, and then uh, get it back to the shop and assess. So that's kind of the plan from here. John, keep just enough. Go ahead and pull them in, Mark. Okay. I don't know, the windshield still looks fine. It doesn't look like there's a crazy curve. I think I was wrong. you want to go get your trailer 10 rounds so you can drive straight through? I think I'm going to have to back up, I think. You don't think you can turn around? I'm going to have to back up. I'm going to get back. Honestly, I think it'll still turn. Try and get this on video. I can't believe that's Hey, so... your light on your mirror works. <laughs> well, You're locked. Wait, do that again and, and try to get the thing to fall off and you close it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Have you guys seen Camden's? No. <laughs> I didn't even know he got in an accident. He almost totaled his work truck. Okay, run us up to the anchor. Okay, John. John, let's try and trap you, sir. Yes, thank you so much for this. Of course. All right. Should have got the Just checking you have a strap. Bill you later. You have yeah. straps to tie it down, right? It's rated right for 7,600, <laughs> but you're going to be in fourth gear at 45 miles an hour. Redlining. What do you mean I do that every day? All right. Let's, uh, he drives home in four, though. Car's in neutral, by in the way. Neutral, let's have someone steer it as much as you can. Yeah. Uh, to film you? Uh, Trevor, hop in real you quick. I'll drive? film. Yeah. I'll, I'll film. As soon as he's moving, that wheel's gonna turn. And uh, yeah, when that other tire gets there, it's gonna kind of get weird. All right, Matt, can you record? Yeah. We're gonna try and like. Turn it? Yep. Uh, yeah, we got it straight now. Oh, nope, nope. There you go. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. Straighten her down, turn, 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 turn back. More, more. There you go, that's great. Right there? Yep, that's it. Oh, look out. Hey, come on, Are you going to convince me to buy a Porsche? I am in the market for a new car, so. I think you should get one. Is this a sign? This yeah. Has nothing to do with brand. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's what happened to anyone. Hey, look, but you're protected and safe, I'm, I'm so. Not saying, I'm not saying 
I did walk away. I did walk away. The crash ratings on this thing is amazing. You have to have a driver or passenger. Oh, this wheel is like a loose tooth. <laughs> This is sponsored by Vans. Side of this all the way in. Yeah. Well, yeah. Try it. Can you feel one more? What, the trailer or the? Uh, back just a little more and it'll straighten out. It's gonna crack the top, I think. It's not slow. Turn a little more, Trevor. Turn a little more, driver. Neutral break off. Okay, good. No, you're fine for now. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, what are we? Break off? Break is off, yes. Buckling at the hitch. What are we doing? We're fighting something. Oh, you know what we're doing? The A arm is hitting the ramp. Ah. Uh, I got a jack. We can put that on his back. I know, I've, I've watched YouTube videos. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it can be, and it won't be take but a few seconds. Okay, uh, okay, we got 10, okay. Release tension. Yeah, we're off. Yeah, the A-arm's hitting the end of the ramp. Grab a ratchet, we can pull it I've got my high lift, you want to just pull it in? front end up and let it fall off the jack. We, we oh wait, grab his pro eagle and that's the best. We have a pro eagle handy. Yeah, Harrison has them. Yeah, it's got Harrison, where's your pro eagle? I got my I got my snow foot. Oh the new one? Yeah. Huh, it's not really high enough to get this under there. Off that white bumper. I just got this radiator support right here. Hopefully that's enough. I think it's clear. Oh, that's good. Keep going. Get it warm. Yeah. This one. Can we get that wheel straight up at all? Maybe help out? No. no. It's not even on the ground at this point, really. Okay. It's going. It's going. That's cool. Well, that's where the pro eagle works. It's way fun. Can someone get a video yeah. of this? Pro well, he's getting it, man. <laughs> Got this you right here. Right here. <laughs> this is the best part oh, of the whole thing. <laughs> 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 hey, Luke, you know this will be good giving it back to him, right? Uh, uh, can we go just a little bit, uh, driver? We, hey, I'll get a close up. Can you put the extension on? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's hold up for a sec. Can we come to a stop real quick? Are you dropping it? Yeah. Turn on the brake real quick. Oh, and try to turn a little bit driver. Yeah. Especially because you're the brake. Okay. Oh, the vehicle's in park? No, no he, he was putting, putting it in park. park. Okay. Damn it. You owe me a pro eagle. Whoa. <laughs> it's a well, deep thing. It's a pro eagle. <laughs> oh. I'll drive it and it'll be gone. Hey, did you ever find yours? I did. You did? Where was it? Somewhere in my damn truck. Hey, bro, you guys gonna be happy with the food you're making for this. Ooh! Well, you're getting paid. Yeah, they better cover the cost of this whole accident. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish I was getting sponsored like that, but I just got a free jack. Hey, that's, uh, that's pretty damn good, though. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's it's, it's, not, it's not lost on me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm going to go too high. Is there a fulcrum? Oh! Oh, well. Okay. This is the best option to get over. Instagram followers. 
Is all you need to do is get it on the trailer, right? Yeah. And then it'll just drag on the trailer. Okay, it's about over. Okay, you can go again. You the one with a Ford. Good. Good. Go. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going a little bit. Right there. Hey, we finally got that tire fixed. We gotta cut. Yeah, bring it back some more. Bring it back. Yeah. When. Can we go clear, up a just little, go. maybe straighten this tire out some here? Let's go. Here's there you the go. Pass the lift. Might grind a little bit. Maybe I should straighten that stuff out of here. Sure. No more. For the record. Y'all, here we come. Nope. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so very much for this. I appreciate you. Our pleasure. Oh, what a See mess. Here again one day. <laughs> Hopefully not in the same Hopefully situation. Right, okay. uh, Get up here. Thank you very, yeah. very much. I appreciate you. You guys definitely saved the day on this one. <laughs> Good old Porsche. Ferdinand, be proud. Thank you guys for making it out. Always. <laughs> Anything for you, Harrison. I love you guys. Love you, buddy. Thank you. This is a this is a blast. Thank you so much, Brett. I appreciate you. Thank you and your team. Granola bar. So you're you're very welcome. Thank you very much to you and your team. Uh, not sure how this would have come out otherwise. Uh, definitely. I don't think it. The the cop that called me this morning, he was like, "Yeah, uh, like just get a tow truck out there. He'll pull it. He'll like, pull it right out." I'm like. Maybe you don't know very well, but a flatbed isn't just going to yank that shit out of there. <laughs> oh, it'll truck... yank it out of there. <laughs> Your tow truck's going to show up and say, hmm. Nah. Yeah. I'm good. Like, he's first, he's just not going to get traction. I'm not sure if they have any crazy devices or anything. They do. They yeah. do? Yeah, they can. They have hydraulics. They go down and it'll dig yeah. right in. Is that only on, like, the 6x6 six six, uh, tow trucks or regular flatbeds have that? I just... I've seen flatbeds do it. Okay. All right, next issue. Uh, it's dead. Doesn't right. appear to want to go into neutral. Camden, can you put your truck up real quick? Uh, next issue, the car is just completely dead. Try and get some jumper cables on it, mm -hmm. see if we can uh, solve that issue. Yeah, that would help. It's pretty dull. <laughs> uh, Bro, I'll walk that. <laughs> you want to let the jack down a little bit? Stop, Matt. I'm on brakes. Huh? I said I'm on the brakes. You're just rolling now. Okay, Mac, tighten up slowly. A little more. Okay, Matt, pull him slowly, just like a couple inches. Okay, we're off the trailer. In park, brake on, car off. <laughs> kind of fun. Woo! It works! <laughs>
the hood. You can probably just... Oh, whoa! It wanted to roll. Jack just slid. Now we just go slow. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's still got contact. Ryan, <laughs> you're on it. <laughs> At the <laughs> max push peak. The bottom. Push the jack, actually. Okay. Like, come on. You want me to do it? Or At the it far was, peak. Was, <laughs> that was actually almost perfect. That was perfect. You're a little off, but all things considered. <laughs> that was a lot lower than I thought it was going to be. I was going to say you could try. <laughs> yeah. A bit of a recap. What happened? Are we are we all good? Is everything good, fine? Man. Yeah. Everybody's safe. Deal. The car is parked in the shop. Uh, <laughs> no one lost any fingers? Yeah. You, might, you almost did. Slightly <laughs> close. Yeah. It's not the, his first time. The drivetrain <laughs> still works, which is very fortunate. The car starts, it runs. Yeah. I lost a CV ball bearing right there. That one just decided to fall out. Uh, Should you make that a necklace? Should melt it down drill and make a hole, it into a ring. Drill a hole through that and you can wear it. Yeah. Oh, that could be, that could be an idea. <laughs> That's a way to do things. Hey, right here, if you close the hood and took a picture from this angle, it would look just good. Uh, <laughs> Well, this is a this is wonderful. Yeah, the white shock goes to the front bar and everything too. Dang. But here's the thing. Now you have a way to get around town. <laughs> <laughs> this he's got a point. It's not like I have a whole other car. So Harrison will be exclusively. <laughs> A exclusively riding now. YT from now on. Oh, thank you guys so much Good for all of your help. You guys, of course, thank you for everything and helping. Happy to. And thanks Utah Off-Road Recovery. You guys have oh, been geez. incredible and literally wouldn't have done it without them. <laughs> we would have been screwed. Yeah, yeah. But there's no way a tow truck driver <laughs> would have gotten it out as gracefully as this. like what, two inches? <laughs> yeah. We might have put run, another. Run a four runner. We might have put another car <laughs> on that. Probably weighs uh, quite a bit less than that Raptor weighs, but. Yeah, that Raptor was king. Like that, that definitely pulled its weight. Dude, at one point, this thing was pulling a Raptor and two um, 
to gladiators. Yeah, gladiators. gladiators. All of them, just like into the ditch. Uh, <laughs> into the ditch with it. Jeez. It's like a last. It's like mm, I'm taking you down with me. Can you imagine if one of them slipped into the ditch, like into the car? Uh, it was the car pile up. The other side is just, or we went there, or if we went there in the like in the afternoon and there was just another car on top of it. <laughs> uh, sweet guys, tacos. Tacos. Everyone okay with tacos? Let's go eat. Uh, if you watched this far in the video, I thank you immensely. Uh, it means a lot that you've stayed here uh, to watch the whole thing, to see if I'm okay, to see what's going on. I only have liability insurance. I'm definitely not gonna start a GoFundMe or anything, but uh, I'll probably produce some stickers and see if that'll cover some of the funds for this. Uh, the car is gonna be done for quite a while. It doesn't seem that it's totaled or anything. Um, we're just gonna kinda go see what happens. Uh, the whole car seems to be okay. The pillar seems to be fine. The quarter panel is like pushed in a tiny bit. That'll need to be PDR'd. Uh, just kind of like right here, the paint has cracked a bit, so that's going to need some touch up. Uh, I don't know how well the wrap is going to come off, but definitely going to peel that off. The door handle was pushed in a bit. I think it's possible this can be PDR'd and the door will be just fine. Uh, I don't know how extensive or what they're really going to be able to do here. Yeah, the door is still not even shut all the way, uh, so that'll line up better. The driver's door is completely untouched. The mirror is smashed. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. Uh, I don't know if it's specific to the turbo S's or anything or the, to the turbos. Uh, the fender, I'm pretty sure I've lost all the coolant. Uh, definitely some mud right there, possibly. I don't think that's oil, uh, but if it is, we're gonna figure that out. The intercooler is pushed back. Honestly, if it is oil, it's from the intercooler piping. Uh, bumper support needs to be uh, removed. The frame rail still looks fine. I don't see any damage. I'm pretty sure it withstood it, no problem. Uh, front bumper needs to be replaced, of course. And I have to get all of this inside of here. I'm gonna remove everything I possibly can. Uh, the fender will be removed. Uh, I don't think there's too much damage there. The hood still seems to line up just fine. The hood is not damaged. Uh, it's just rubbing against the fender that's pushed in. Removing this. All of that seems fine. Up here, I have a little bit that's pushed into. The headlight actually comes in back here now. So the headlight needs to be pushed out this way. Uh, it's gonna be a pain to remove and redo all of this. I really hope that that's not oil. I don't think it is, but I mean, if it is, it's actually from the CV probably because there is a ball from the CV rolling around somewhere over here. We're gonna find out. So, unfortunately, this is going to lead to a build series where I replace this damaged car, repair everything I possibly can. Windshield needs to be replaced. This is a lot of work. Uh, I would appreciate it if you guys uh, subscribed, if you are interested in seeing more of this. Thank you guys so much for watching the whole video to this point. And just know uh, I'm not leaving Cayenne's anytime soon. I've still got this one right here. Uh, I haven't really talked much about what's going on with that, but rebuilding the rear end to give it as much travel as possible. Uh, the front end will probably be back together once long travel is available for the Cayennes. Uh, definitely some RCV axles that will be pr produced by Berg Performance uh, out of Colorado. So they are making RCV axles stock length for the Cayennes and stuff. It'll be very easy to get long travel ones or two inch longer, however, how much, however much it takes. And then this one, probably about a week from now, maybe two weeks, will be on coilovers, uh, rear arms, 35s. The braid wheels over here in the corner are gonna go on it. So, I've got a lot of stuff going on. Crashing the Cayenne, especially with liability insurance, definitely is making, it's definitely complicating my life, but it's a decision that I made. I have to live with the consequences and uh, I just have to figure out a way to make this work. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. Bye.